Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain how to configure load balancing with the Nginx. My previous video, I have explained how to do backend routing with the Node application. In the description box, I have shared that URL for that video. If you want, you can refer that one also. <coughs> in this video, in this article, I am going to explain how to do load balancer with the Node application. In this video, I am going to explain only these two types of load balancer. Few more uh, types are there, but I am not going to cover the, 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 that type in this video. First one is round robin. Round robin is uh, very similar to our for loop. It executes one by one. For example, you have an three node application. Node application one, node application two, node application three. It, it, uh, Nginx is the first request. It uh, transfer to the node application one. If you Nginx is the second request, it will forward to the node application 2. If you Nginx receive the third request, it transfer to the node application 3. If you 4, it will go to the 1. Like this, it goes by 1 by 1, like a for loop. List connection. Um, for example, you have a 3 node application. Node application 1, node application 2, node application 3. For example, node application 1 handle currently 500 requests. Node application 2 currently handling 200 requests. Node application 3 currently handling 350 requests. If a new request comes to the Nginx, in Nginx they transfer the request to the node application 2 because that only handles the least request connection, least connection at the point of the time. Okay, now I am going to explain how to do in Nginx. Okay, now I'm going to run Nginx on my laptop. Okay. Nginx. Now Nginx is running on my Nginx server running on my computer. Okay, now I go to the browser and type 0 is 0. By default, Nginx server running on the port 8080. See, now Nginx is running on my computer. Local cost 8000, 8000. Okay, now I am going to explain how it will be configured in the configuration file. For that, you have to go to the Nginx folder, go to the configuration folder, and you have the Nginx config file. Here, for example, local host 8080. This is the things I am going to request in the browser, client browser. And then it will automatically redirect to this HTML file and have the content from here. This is located in HTML folder inside the Nginx folder. Here it is located. Okay, so if this is the now Nginx running on my computer local C80. Okay, now my aim is if I go into pad 9000 test, this is my API, then this request go to the when I every time I refresh, the, refresh this page, this request go to the three different node application. This is the aim of the, this video. Okay. So now it's the bad gateway. So I have created the three node application and run node. For example, I go to the Nginx node app. This is the my main project. I have created this project. This project cannot be able to handle the 10,000 requests at a time. So I, what I have to do I just copy this folder and paste it three times node app 1, node app 2, node app 3. Okay. Uh, all the application have a same logic, same program concept. But one, only one thing see, the thing is these three node applications running on different ports. For example, this application running on the port number 5001, this is 5002, this is 5003. Okay. Okay, let me explain. I open and show to you. For example, 
this application again and port 5001 okay like this this application 5002 this application running on 5003 okay now what i have to do just go to this folder and run now solve see i have started my first node application server running on port number 5001 now I go to the node up to see it's running on the 5002. I go to the node up 3. So okay. Three. So I have three same application running on the different port to share the load of the request. Okay, now what are the configuration you need to do in the Nginx configuration file to handle this? Okay, now I open the Nginx configuration file. My aim is I already told you if I type this internally, the Nginx is the Nginx request. So this request go to the Nginx. Okay, Nginx. Get the see the request and uh, send the node application three different node application based on the configuration. Okay. Now I will try. Okay. For example, um, the Nginx configuration file there are two important parties there. One is server, so one is the server, another one is upstream. Okay. Server is what are the request come to the Nginx. For example, here the local host 9000, this request come to the Nginx, then the Nginx redirect to the proxy pass to this load valve. Okay. Here I click configure upstream IP address. For example, here okay, by default, by default this is allowed. Okay. Here I have to server local host 5001. Server local host 5002, server local host 5003. I have to configure the three. If you want, you can configure many more for the same node application. By default, upstream load balancer, uh, by default, upstream is round robin. For example, if first request come to this Nginx, it will transfer the request to here, then here, then here, then up like the for loop, it will go, go going like a for loop. Okay, now. Okay, so now I am going to refresh this page, then request come to here, from here it will go to the load bank, I have to set up the load bank, the meaning here, I can show you load balancer, then request come to here, by default it is around robin, okay, then this request go to this, second time if I press refresh it go to here. Third time, if I go to reference, you go to this here. Okay, so I just want to show. And also, I can show. See, nothing is there. 5001, 5002, this is 5003. Okay, now I need to just refresh. 5002, see, 5001, 3, 2. So, like a round robin method. Here that's what you're going to see for example this stop it. that's why it's not going there. Okay. Okay. See the here two, here five, here two, here two because of the server is stopped. That's why the cache not put to the this node server. Now I one three. See, it's going like a for loop. Okay, this is the way to configure load balancer in nginx uh, if you want set uh, list connection option nothing you have to just like add this way list connection and stop the nginx server and restart the server again list this uh, list connection option is configured then based on the load 
the engine is automatically transfer the request to the node application thank you